I'm going to demonstrate a couple of simple electrostatic demonstrations using an electrophorus and an electroscope. Now an electrophorus is simply a piece of non-conducting material uh, like plastic, uh, in this case it's a piece of Teflon, and a conducting material, a flat metal plate with an insulating handle. Uh, when I rub the surface of the Teflon with a piece of fur, I'm going to deposit electrons on the surface of that piece of plastic and when I place the plate on top there's going to be a separation of charge because the electrons in the metal that are free to move are going to be repelled by the electrons on top of the Teflon. Now when this happens there's really not a lot of charge transfer uh, by contact. And we can test this by lifting the plate off the Teflon without doing anything else and moving it towards the electroscope and we can see there's no movement on the center vein. Now the electroscope, when there's a charge imbalance on this center vein, which is electrically isolated from this metal support loop, uh, will pivot out like so. So if there was any charge on the plate at all, then we would have seen a charge separation on this center post and the ball and because of the light charge being at the bottom we would have, we would have seen this vein pivot out. Now we can demonstrate the function of the electroscope by once again rubbing the Teflon with a piece of fur and placing the metal disc again on the Teflon and this time I'm going to contact it with my finger. Uh, doing so I've allowed the electrons to move off the plate onto my body, giving this a net positive charge. So if I bring it near the electroscope this time, you'll notice that there is a charge separation and the veins uh, pivot. Now, if I touch the ball while the disc is still near the, the electroscope, I am depositing electrons onto the system. And if I break that and move that away, then I've charged this system by induction and the net charge on there is now negative. And I can test this because our plate is still positive and I can bring it in and you'll see that instead of deflecting more, the, the veins actually close up. That's because I'm pulling electrons off the bottom towards the top and I'm evening out the charge on the bottom part of the electroscope and it's essentially neutral at that point. Now one interesting thing we can do is to move this even closer and see what happens. And you'll notice that it moves away at some point. Another fun demonstration we can do is uh, just using a uh, metal can, uh, a rubber rod, and again a piece of fur. And I'm going to rub the rod and deposit some electrons on there from the fur, take the can, set it down on its side, which of course is a conductor, and as I move the rod near the can, I will attract charges in the can, and if I move the rod away from it, I can get it to roll.